What's up guys, Taylor with TK Disc Golf, and today we are reviewing the Terra from MVP Disc Sports. This is the latest fairway driver from MVP for James Conrad's new line of discs. It's got the flight numbers 8 speed, 5 glide, 0 turn, and 3 fade, making it a super dependable fairway for players of all skill levels. Really enjoyed throwing this disc on the field and on the course, so hey, let's go see how it flies. For those of you that don't know, MVP had quite the mold apocalypse a couple years ago where they discontinued a lot of the more archaic molds, ones that weren't selling as well, ones that needed upgraded, and unfortunately the 8-speed class took a heavy hit. The Volt was the only one that stuck around, and they had to discontinue the Shock, which was the overstable 8-speed, and then they had to discontinue discontinue the amp which was the understable. Uh, the shock and the Terra actually have very similar flight numbers. Both 8 speed, 5 glide, 0 turn. It's just the shock had 2.5 fade, the Terra has 3 fade. So a little bit more fade and we now have the Terra. In the hand it feels very very good. It has a nice moderately high shoulder, still relatively board flat, no like crazy dome pop top anything like that. Just feels very classic, a lot like the Volt but you can tell it's a little bit more beef to it. Uh, on the Heiser releases, uh, very typical overstable disc. Just super straight, Heiser's out left, and uh, spikes into the ground nice. I was getting those to pay me about 270, uh, so it was nice to be able to take a faster disc instead of a mid-range and just spike them into that distance with little effort. Uh, flat releases, very straight, no turn whatsoever, and then fade skips, beautiful shots like that. Maybe skipping about like 280, 290. And then the Anheuser releases, this is where the bread and butter's at for me. Uh, flex them on like a good 30 degree Anheuser release. They hold it nice, pan out, skip back to center. Those shots I was getting out to probably like 320, 330 uh, for my arm speed. Now watching some film of James over the past couple weeks, I've seen some shots where it wasn't confirmed what he was throwing, but I was like, yeah, that looks like the Terra. Obviously, he's pulling this disc out for headwinds. That's really what I think the difference is going to be between him pulling out the Terra versus his Bendy James Volts. Uh, headwinds a lot more dependable. The Volt does have that minus half turn versus this is a zero, so I feel like he can really trust this disc into a strong headwind. For myself, though, I don't typically gravitate towards the overstable discs. However, the Terra, I really did enjoy throwing this. I mean, it was a tailwind, but. I really enjoy throwing those nice flex shots on the backhand. Uh, normally I like to go like a neutral to slightly stable disc because I love to throw stuff flat. I don't really require a lot of hyzer flip for my game. Uh, but this one was a lot of fun, an absolute blast throwing on the Zanheiser lines. I could see myself taking it the course and throwing it on a shot that's nice downhill. Uh, those downhill shots typically throw something more over stable. You can throw it out nice and wide and it's going to fade back every single time. You can trust it for sure. And then even some skip shots in the woods or something like that. Very predictable. Alrighty guys, that concludes our review video of the Terra from MVP Disc Sports. We really, really enjoyed throwing this disc. And if you want to pick one of these up for yourself, be sure to check your local retailer around the end of April, early May. That's when they're supposed to launch. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of our videos. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.